Hello and welcome to a Minecraft Mod Spotlight video. I will be featuring Aileram's Red Power 2. On top of the usual API layers of Mod Loader, Mod Loader MP and Minecraft Forge, Aileram has created a mod consisting of several modules that can be separately installed but form a cohesive whole industrial technological addition to Minecraft. Some blocks you might already have seen in similar mods, but Red Power has a consistent vision of how it all fits together. I like this vision very much, and by now Red Power is my favorite Minecraft mod. So let me start and show some of the new features Red Power World introduces to Minecraft. First off, there's the rubber tree. That's a very huge tree. You can, uh, well, it's simply a tree, very large one. I will show you, it looks like this, pretty large, huh? Well, um, you can't make planks from rubber wood, it just gives you sticks. Um, you can place the logs and uh, the trees are nice for decoration. Next up would be basalt. Basalt comes from volcanoes. Volcanoes look like this little lava on top and yeah so uh, if you harvest them they come in this uh, cobblestone form like this one just if you like if you break stone you receive cobblestone if you put them in furnace you will get the real basalt the smooth version you can place it or you can use it to craft bricks like this the bricks will look well like these next up is marble marble is just replacing some of the stone in the world especially in caves i believe um, you can use it to craft bricks like those or just place it then there are three new types of gems ruby are red Sapphire are blue and emerald are the green versions. Those don't really have a good purpose for now. Um, you can build pretty much everything you can build from the regular diamonds, um, but they'll have a lower durability. And um, I think their actual use is for a laser mod that's coming up. Next there are just simple ores. They grow like everywhere like here you can see. Um, this was uh, silver, then there's copper and there's tin. Those uh, you have to smelt in a regular furnace to receive the ingots. Um, this is tungsten, tungsten. I'm not really sure how to pronounce it. Um, Wolfram is another name for it. Uh, but, well, there's no real purpose now for it. So I can tell you what it's good for. But I think there will be some use for it. Then um, there are indigo flowers that can be used to craft indigo dye, which you can use to, uh, well, dye some wool. Another new th new feature is uh, here. Did you see? There was uh, flax seeds. You just get it by destroying the tall grass. Flax is a new plant introduced. It will look like this when grown. Um, you can only plant it in uh, well wet soil. You can't place it here, it just doesn't work. There it will work. Um, you can use some bone meal to grow it to its full size and when you harvest this, it will give string and some more seeds. That's a nice way to get some more string. The indigo flowers will also grow when you use the bone meal, like here. You see there will be indigo flowers. So now I'll show you how to make some lamps. Lamps are very easy to fabricate. You only need a die. 
For example, we'll make some yellow lamps. You have to use a glowstone dust and redstone and any dye you like. 16 colors are available to produce lumar. The lumar will correspond to the color of the dye used. And if you put some glowstone glass around, it will produce a lamp block. When powered, this lamp block will glow and, um, well, produce light. It's always white light, but, well, the blocks themselves have colors. So, now we want to have some wires to actually connect it. To make wires, you need an alloy furnace, like this. You build it in the sh same shape as the regular furnace, but from brick. It will have to consume some fuel, and you can make uh, these alloy ingots from, for example, copper or iron. You can use both. Uh, if you have Red Power World installed, you'll have access to copper. If not, um, you'll have to use iron. With these, you can make a line like this, and this will give you red alloy wires. These wires are very cool because you can run them on the ceiling, on the wall, around the wall, wherever you like. They are very flexible and the signal is transmitted for uh, 255 blocks, so you don't constantly have to put repeaters. Um, sometimes you want more than one wire running uh, next to each other. For this purpose, there's um, insulated wires. You can use any color of wool to insulate a wire and it will give you the corresponding color of uh, insulated wires. For example, the orange one, like this. You can run a red insulated wire. That's the same with the red color. Um, they can run side by side. That's very useful so you don't have to space them so far apart. Um, if you want even tighter integration, you can do um, something called bundle cables. You use any color of uh, insulated wires and put some string around. It will give you bundle cables these cables have a color too. They're called, for example, I use the red one, so they're called red insulated um, cable bundle, red bundle cable. But the color is only the ribbon and this uh, junction point. It does not influence um, the other functionality of this cable. So I just run this here. And you see, it will connect to other insulated wires. And I'll show you why that's useful. Another trick, if you right click here, for example, on the furnace, it will show the furnace interface. But if you hold shift while clicking, um, hey. If you hold shift down while clicking, it will uh, put a wire there. That's very useful. So, um, as you can see, I put red insulated wire here and there. And they are connected through these um, bundled cables. And if I put some uh, levers here, if I activate this lever, it will give power to the red cable and only the red. So as you can see, the orange ones are not powered, but they will power if I give power on an orange cable connected to it. You can uh, power them independently and uh, that's very useful. You can run 16 uh, for you can well every color can be run through one single bundle cable
now that we know how to make lamps and wires, I'll show you a little thing I constructed using them. As you can see, I used several logic gates in the construction. I will explicitly not explain them any further. Um, if you know logic gates and how to use them, it would probably bore you because it's uh, straightforward one-to-one -one, uh, correspondence to real-world items uh, and integrated circuitry. For example, this uh, NOR gate, you just place it, it has several inputs and it will output the, cor the um, signal. It's very simple. If you don't know about them, uh, I would bore you if I explained any further, so I'll just give you the link to a recipe list I compiled and uh, leave it at that. Um, the wires, as you can see, are, well, there are many different colors used. They are not every color um, possible. I only used 10 because, well, it counts from 0 to 9 and, uh, well, you don't need any more. So I'll start the thing and it should count from 1 to 9, uh, from 0 to 9. On the left you can see some of the other lamps ticking on and off. It's just uh, indicator which uh, wire is currently giving the signal and as you can see it's just counting from 0 to 9 up and well there you go so um, one last word on the wiring it is water resistant, so as you can see, it doesn't get washed away by water streams. That's very useful. Now, last for this video, I will be showing some decorative purposes in, uh, in this mod. To craft anything for decoration, you need to craft a handsaw. You can craft it from iron, like this. You can craft it from diamond, like this. And if you got the world mod installed, you can craft it from the gems, ruby, sapphire, emerald. The iron saw can cut the softer materials like wool or dirt or wood, but it cannot cut through harder materials like marble, stone, obsidian, glass, uh, whatever. So I'll be using diamond saw and show you what it can do. You can cut... Uh, Blocks into slabs, slabs into strips, strips, yeah, strips into corners, and you can cut uh, the slabs even thinner into panels, and panels can be cut into covers. Uh, yeah, you can do this with pretty much any solid block, and um, I'll show you some uses for that. You can put uh, well, let me show you the covering. So the covers can be used to cover up, for example, the wirings. It will show you where it will put the um, the items. So you have a preview that's very handy for placing stuff. You can place it on the ceiling, on the floor. You can place slabs horizontally and vertically and pretty much any way you like. You can use the smaller blocks to build funny patterns like this. And um, well, that's pretty handy to have. So um, you can use these panels or uh, covers to cover up wiring like this. It's pretty handy. You can see the wires behind them and it's super, uh, well, convenient. So. Thanks for watching. I didn't cover the machines. Uh, I will probably do this in a later video, but um, I covered pretty much everything that was in Red Power 1 already. And uh, well, I hope you liked it. Thanks for watching and goodbye.